Hello and welcome to the Electronic Visit Verification or EVV web portal and CSV file demonstration. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to access the EVV web portal to download and upload the CSV file and to upload the correction CSV file. The EVV web portal and CSV user guide and the EVV technical file specifications are companion guides to this video and can be found at medicaid.utah.gov slash EVV. To access the EVV portal, go to evv.medicaid.utah.gov forward slash EVV submit. If you are a new user, you will be required to create an account with Utah ID. Otherwise, if you are an existing user, then enter your username and password to log in. After your user ID is authenticated and authorized, you will be redirected to the EVV web interface. Here, the screen displays a warning that the Medicaid EVV system contains personal information, including PHI. Unauthorized access, use, misuse of the system or data contained herein is a violation of the DOH policy and you may be subject to state and federal prosecution and penalties, as well as civil penalties. Anyone using this system consents to system monitoring and agrees to use the system for its intended purposes. Please read the important notice, then click Continue to Application. The CSV file method is for approved third-party software solutions to export electronically captured EVV data in a format the Utah Medicaid system will accept. The CSV file method is not to be used as a manual input method. On the CSV screen, we've listed the mandatory fields, the acknowledgement response, a correction indicator button, and an ability to download and upload a CSV file. I recommend you read the EVV technical specification document that lists all the data elements and their expected format. It can be found on medicaid.utah.gov forward slash EVV. Next, I will demonstrate how to download and upload a CSV file. The CSV template has the appropriate columns and order for your CSV to be uploaded to our system. In the web portal and CSV user guide, there are formatting instructions. I want to point out that the Microsoft Excel file cannot save custom formatting. Every time you open the Excel file, the leading zeros are removed. You will need to apply this custom format. Both the begin time and end time columns accept either a 12-hour or a 24-hour clock format. If you use the 12-hour clock format, it's important that you leave a space between the time and the denotation of either AM or PM. If you use the 24-hour clock format, you will need to format the columns like the member and provider ID columns that I showed you earlier. A batch ID and record ID is required for each record. This information is required to correct a record. Please note, if using your own CSV file, the first row will always be treated as a header row and thus ignored. Now I'll demonstrate how to upload a completed CSV file. To upload the CSV file, click the Choose File button, and after your file name appears, click the Upload CSV File button. The file validation will check for the discrete combination of the mandatory fields. On the screen, you will see the Upload Progress bar, and depending on your file size, validation can take up to 20 minutes. After the validation is completed, the screen will display a submission acknowledgement with the receipt ID the total number of records sent, accepted, and rejected. Below the receipt acknowledgement is the information on which rows were rejected and why. You will need to fix the rejected rows and resubmit them. Please resubmit only rejected rows. In addition to the on-screen acknowledgement, an email confirmation with your submission results will be sent to the address you use to register access to the system. Next, I will submit a corrected record. To submit a correction to a previous record, you will need to have the original receipt ID, batch ID, and record ID from the previous submission to populate the CSV template. For this demonstration, I will use the email and copy the original receipt ID. 
In the CSV template, it is important the org underscore receipt underscore ID column is formatted as text. Otherwise, the system will truncate the entry and the file will fail. To upload the correction CSV file, click the Choose File button and check the correction checkbox. Then click the Upload CSV File button. After the validation is completed, the screen will display a submission acknowledgement with the receipt ID, the total number of records sent, accepted, and rejected. Below the receipt acknowledgement is the record information. This concludes the EBV CSV file demonstration. Just a reminder, the EVV CSV user guide and the EVV technical specification documents are companion guides to this video and can be found at medicaid.utah.gov forward slash EVV. For questions, feedback, and inquiries regarding electronic visit verification, email dmhf underscore EVV at utah.gov. Thank you.